five more minutes and we'll be ready to answer all of your questions on Amazon. One more minute and we'll be live. This is the My Amazon Guy live Q&A every Friday at 12 Eastern with Jason Master Mateo. Yo, 
Yo, yo, yo. It's Friday. It's Friday. You know what that means. It means um, the weekend. It means me playing you against Magic the Gathering Arena. Ooh, um, you going to challenge me this weekend? Yeah, I played Steven last night. Um, six for six. You I went lost. to you uh, lost six. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't know. Like you guys I, are playing popper. No, um, one one game. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I it was it was standard, but it was not. Um, he was drafting. Anyway, everyone yeah. everyone's watching and going to be like, "What are we talking?" <laughs> We uh we do like playing Magic the Gathering here at my Amazon guy. This is the my Amazon guy live Q and A every Friday at noon Eastern yeah. with myself and the handsome John Aspinall. Well, you're not gonna be here next week. So. Those AI pictures you you're making they they really uh they really get the physique going. I like that, right? That's uh that's my uh. Did you just give away my my secret tips? That that that's all AI. How dare you? But yeah, very Facetune. clearly a render. <laughs> <laughs> Facetune is an app where you load in like fifteen of your uh, headshots, and for like five dollars in credits, it gives you like two hundred. Ver- I have so many more. I got to give the graphic design team. Like it's all crazy. right. You need to send it to me. I want to try it out. I tried yeah. some other one. Fo- Fotor, I think it's called. Is he a villain from He Man or no? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I. I tried that one and it just turned me into a bunch of anime characters. <laughs> now this one it'll give you like um, the Western one. It gives you like all the all these cool things. Yeah, I'll, we'll check it out later. Yeah. Well, um, we are here every Friday to answer any and all of your Amazon seller, vendor, uh, Walmart questions. Uh, we do ASIN reviews. Well, if you put your ASIN in here, we'll uh, take a look at it and tell you uh, how to improve it. Uh, what else do we do, John? We accept uh, uh, pizza from DoorDash if you want to send it to us. Uh, by the way, on my, on my show on Wednesday, somebody, uh, I called out typos in their uh, in their listing. And I said, hey, that's one strike. Three strikes are out. You're going to buy me pizza. And he had three strikes. And I know it was Norbert. He's always in here. And I didn't get my pizza, Norbert. So. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, as usual, we will... Um answer member questions first if you want to become a member you can click that little join button at the bottom of the uh uh screen here and after that we'll get to all the rest of the questions um and uh yeah let's let's jump right in hop right in karen says uh i still have the message on my seller central account account at risk of deactivation despite already updating my info and submitting the docs four days ago i even got an email saying verification done the Informed Consumers Act widget shows identify uh, is verified, but phone number, bank account, business address, tax ID or not. But I did each one of those four days ago. You are not alone here. Um, I'm I still like seeing. I feel like it's like a support group now for this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, it's okay. You can make a ticket if you if you want to just be completely safe, but you will get a response that says. Um, this is an error. We are working on the issue, something like that. We're aware you don't have to take any action, blah, 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 blah. Um, It's some sort of, uh, you know, residual bug. The forums um, mods say that they're aware of it. They're working on it. The Facebook groups all are saying the same thing. Um, As long as you verified everything, you should be good. Uh, Don't worry about it. (laughs) Breathe. I don't know why they. It's it's scary. It says like your account's at risk of deactivation, and you're like, I you did know everything. Why, you know why they did that though, right? They they did that to weed out people that aren't going to do that. The people that are doing one off kind of things that are sketchy that aren't going to be able to verify or not wanting to. So they're kind of clearing the deck. I, I think they they knew this law was coming. I mean, it's not like it just got passed yesterday, and they're late to the table on what the requirements are for it they were they were too busy telling us that everything in california gives you cancer and pesticides and you know can't sell your wood dust uh all right margo says difference among launch date versus release date versus offer start date it's a very good question (laughs) let's show everybody what she's talking about by the way while you're showing that is there still access 
I know there used to be a while ago. And if you did it through like a flat feed file, uh, you could do like a pre-order. Can you still do that or no? So um, that's if you want to push your listing live and um, you have inbound inventory, you can usually pre-order it. Um, but we're just going to go through all of these real quick. So offering release date is... <laughs> the price start date of your product. Um, and then the other two, which are, ooh, we have a, this is my test product. So are batteries required? No. Um, are in, this is a cup, it's in a different spot. <laughs> I should have picked something different. Maybe it's in shipping, nope. Do you think it asks if batteries are required if you're listing batteries? It does. <laughs> I want to find one that has all of them. This one does not. Let's go find a different product. Sorry, everyone. Let's go to a soap. Soap will have it. Well, allow me to entertain everybody while you figure that out. Two grasshoppers walk into a bar. Stop me if you've heard it. Oh man, two grasshoppers. I mean, I remember hearing something like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> By the long face. <laughs> All right, offer start date. Once a product is launched on Amazon, customers can start placing orders on your product from this date. So this is your pre-order as well, John. And then when we go to more details, we have launch date. Uh, this is when uh, customers can actually see the product on Amazon. And then you have release date. It's this is this. Oh, this is your pre-order one. Sorry, John. This is used to set up the pre-order for um, the products. But it has to be inbound, though, right? You can't do like a month ahead and pre-order. Like you, you can't game the system and be like, "Hey, I'll take pre-orders uh, to ensure that it's." Uh... Yeah, exactly. Um, and then there's a there's a rules on this, like John mentioned. Um, they obviously don't want you taking. 90 day pre-orders or anything it like used that. to be like that years ago it used to be where you could do through a flat feed file there's the only way you're able to get access to the pre-order and you could do pre-order and says like hey this ships in like if it's now it'd be like hey this ships in september order yours now otterbox used to do that casemate used to do that you know what now that i think of it magic does that magic the gathering for new sets like i can order the set that comes out in like february right now interesting I don't think it's applicable to, no, to that's, most that's Amazon sites. Kind of thing. I always say that's like an that's like an Apple esque or Nike esque kind of thing for that. But the reason Mark is asking this question is because, well, there's probably multiple reasons. But when you're Refusing. when you're setting up your product and it's not ready, um, you're doing the SEO, you're doing the content, all that stuff. We want to set all three of those dates far in the future, so that we can preserve the honeymoon period for our launch when everything is ready. And then you just delete those dates. I used to say, just bring them back to the day before um, the current day, but we've been seeing problems with that lately. So just delete them and save when you're ready to launch and everything will appear. So none of those dates will, will cause I know Margo asked that on Wednesday too, I believe. Uh, and I gave her, I think I said, come back here and ask Jason. <laughs> um, but they were asking about, uh, the honeymoon period. So which of those dates affects the honeymoon period where you don't want to do that? Like there's no, I mean, we don't know, but we do know that all of them stop the product from being shown on Amazon. So it's not indexing when you're trying to build it. Mm -hmm. um, so I just do is all it, three. Is it, is it best to index and then use that time of the honeymoon period to index or no? No, because uh, during that time, your product's not going to be for sale or it's not fully optimized. Yeah. So you start indexing for keywords and you don't have any uh, full image stack or bullets or something and people aren't going to buy your product. Algorithm's, algorithm's going to find you irrelevant for your, your keywords. Makes sense. Kevin says, good afternoon from Lakeland. What's up, Kevin? Not Land of Lakes. Bipole says, welcome. Rough liners on Amazon. Good morning. Hope all is well. What's up, rough liners? Um, how's Amazon stores doing this week? Chat, nice little chat question. And Karen's got another question for us Can we target our own child ASINs on sponsored display as a defensive strategy? 
Well, of course you can. Yeah, isn't that the, that's the main part of defense? You can go right into your campaign manager, just like this, and create protect a campaign. Protect defense <laughs> and sponsored display. And let's uh, do some soaps. What do you think? Add variation. And we want to target one of our child li listings. And yada, this is a valid defensive strategy for protecting your product page and um, getting your competitors off your page. What about defensive for um, on that question uh, with the new social paid paid ads and social? Can you do anything with that? Like where does yeah. social pop up? Yeah. What are you talking about? Because paid ads and social. Isn't social coming up in advertising? Oh, social. Well, they moved the social posts over to yeah. um, the advertising console. It's not on every account yet, from what I can see. Because I'm wondering when we talk about defensive strategies, PPC, like where does social pop up? Does, does social, because I'll be honest, I don't even really focus on social that much. Does it come up on the PDP for any kind of defensive or no? Not at the moment, but that I'm aware of a bit. Um, I'm assuming they're going to be doing something with it, uh, probably similar to the... Um, what are they called? The periodicals section that are sponsored and stuff. Periodicals. Like that. That's not like periodical. A, I don't know. Like where an eighth called. grade library term. Where are the periodicals, man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let, let's let's see if I can find what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's. What's something that people would write about? The how about like office chair? I bet you there's office chair. Somebody wrote about some office chairs for sure. I can never demo what I'm talking about. When it... What's something you would think somebody would write an article about? Uh, that would be a product. Huh. Uh, How? I know. I know one. I know one. An ice cream scoop. Oh, uh, maternity dress. They're going to write an article about this? Somebody had to. There's a video. By the way, it creeps me out when people do um, the lifestyle shots with nobody inside the clothes, but it looks like there's someone in the clothes. <laughs> I don't like that. Well, I'm wrong. I can't find the section I'm talking about, but <laughs> are you talking about like this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. That's like the ghost. I, that freaks me out. I don't like that. It's how like do the, invis the invisible that? woman? Yeah, like that. I mean, I know how someone's wearing it, and then they Photoshop the person, or they're, they're you know, what they're probably doing. They probably have like a a green screen or like a a green key chroma key kind of mannequin, and that's how they do it. It's weird. There's definitely like pregnancy mannequins or like bellies, fake bellies. What a thing to be in your search history, by the way. So, yeah, they, let me get the... <laughs> they got one of these. <laughs> yeah, they just chroma key it out. This is a little weird. Hey, this this listing is terrible. What are you going to compare it to? A real person? Like, uh, not this is better than our competitors. They're using real people. Use a <laughs> fake one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see, members, members. Not a lot of members here today. Just Karen. I'm going to sign up to be a member. Facebook user says, "What's the most effective <laughs> strategies to optimize the PPC campaigns in 2023 and maximize return on investment?" Well. You're in luck. There was a PPC summit yesterday. Um, I would check out ma the Maximizing E-Commerce PPC Summit. Um, I think you can still get it. It's recorded now because it was live yesterday. That's Stephen Pope talking for about four hours on it. your exact question. <laughs> Scotty says, morning, all. Scotty, <laughs> Oh, yeah, Scotty's back. <laughs> iTech USA, when launching for the first time, what should be the SOP? Brand registry is a must at first, right? But you would also need to have the product defined and the logo created to send a brand registry. Oh, yeah. If you're talking about just like the beginning, obviously, um, let's say you, you're you past the manufacturing part or the prototype part. You've got your product picked out. Now you're settling on a brand name trademark. That'd be the first step. Obviously, creating the Amazon account, making sure that you're verified and all that stuff getting your brand registered, and then um, 
listing your product after you do brand registry. So you don't have to deal with any BS and uh, then just get your copy or your, all the stuff that John talks about on his ADSIM reviews, your A plus content, your SEO, get that all built up, set the launch date way forward. Like we just discussed earlier, way, way forward, set up your ad segmentations and ship your stuff into FBA. Once it's fully checked in through FC processing, FC transfer, light that baby up. Oh, and if you're curious, iTech USA, we have our actual SOPs. Uh, you can purchase right on myamazonguy.com. So if uh, Jason's little summary wasn't good enough for you. you can... We also have a, a launch course that kind of just tells you exactly what I did, but in more detail, or what I said in more detail. <laughs> I think that's everything, like... everything I said, you could just go pay for it. Hey, well, yeah. Lux or something like that. Scotty says, so I got a little boost from what you gave me so far, my ASIN, but Helium 10 says the ASIN is not indexed and the keywords are also not indexed. Well, let's see if that's a Helium 10 problem or a U problem. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Zero, nine, seven, five, four, P, eight, PH. Oh, it's the uh, Diablo's touch. The wood I thing. Chihuahua. So your ASIN comes up and Helium 10 is telling you that, hold on, I have to log into Helium 10 because it logs me out every single time. Shout One out, second. Helium 10. Shout out. <laughs> every time. Right, logging in. One second. I was logged in before the show started. Logged me out. Let me go ahead and tag Helium 10 on LinkedIn. Guys. <laughs> That's probably because we're enterprise and Ooh, humble brag humble brag all right let's grab that and says you're not indexing well it says you're indexing you've got total keywords 434 you've got sponsored keywords 74 organic 150 we can run the listing analyzer here. This is a nice little new thing um, that was previously only available to Helium 10 Elite members that um, lets you see your BSR historically for your product. You can go back one year here. And we can see, you know, um, Scotty's used to be like top 10 in wood burning tools back in the summertime and slowly lost base. And you're in the 70s now, 60, 49, past couple of days. Looks like it's coming back down. This could be a seasonal thing. Maybe uh, wood burning only happens during the summer. <laughs> ah, it's a nice warm day outside. Let me go light some wood on fire. Well, no, remember, there's no, we don't need the tool with, with Scotty's product. It's a paint on. You still need to heat it up, though. Oh, that's true. With like a heat gun. Or, you know, with my morning breath when I wake up and I don't just kind of just. <sighs> sales are down, but last seven days, sales, sales are up on Helium 10. Um, I'm not seeing what you're seeing here, Scotty. It looks like you're indexing. You're fine. You're not hidden suppressed. Your canonical URL is there. Everything looks fine. Um, sorry, couldn't be more help there. How can we earn 2000 per product every month? John. Um, buy my e-course, How to Sell on Amazon with John Aspinall. It's a dollar digital download. <laughs> How can we earn 2000 per product every month? $2,000 per product every month? I mean, that's you just want to sell. I guess that's the core of the question, right? You want to sell a lot. So understand if you're a volume-based business. I always tell people, in fact, I'm making a TikTok on it today. I mean, you account, by the way, follow Jason. Uh are you a volume-based business or a margin-based business? I think you have to understand what you are first before you kind of know your strategy. So if you're volume-based, you want to sell a lot of units and make little revenue on each one or less revenue. If you're margin-based, you sell higher ticket items. You're selling less items, but you want more margin on that. So figure out what you are first. And then if you want to earn it's saying you want to earn two thousand dollars a product. I mean, you, unless you're selling Hondas, I don't, I don't know how that's happening. But I think you want to just earn maybe two thousand dollars on a product overall uh, in your catalog. So, yeah, if you're sharing your screen, Jason can't see it. 
No, no, I was just typing. I was, I was trying to uh, bring up an ex a funny example that I saw the other day. Uh, oh. well, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> but, but yeah. So, uh, Riz, uh, you definitely want to know exactly or learn exactly what kind of business you are. Um, I, I think a lot of people think that they are both, and you're not going to be both. You can't be a volume based business and a margin based business. Um, we're not Apple, right? Uh, unfortunately, they are. Um, understanding that, you know, if you're selling lighter, cheaper products, let's say, I don't know, bookmarks, right? That's not a margin-based business. That's a volume-based business. You want to sell as many bookmarks as you can, making 50 cents on each one. But if you're selling, you know, uh, home uh, electric generators, right, that are uh, 1200 bucks a piece, you're not going to sell as many as bookmarks, but you're going to make a higher profit margin on each one. So I can't find it. I saw it the other day. It was like really random. You can't get anything working today, man. Healing oh time. God. You can't find this. The pregnancy mannequin. Well, I did find that. <laughs> what kind of product was it? It's like something ridiculous, like like fifty gallons of like shampoo or something like that. <laughs> fifty gallons of like a, like a drum, like a like an yeah, like a drum. drum <laughs> shampoo. What a great business. Just instead of an ice cream man, you just put a couple of those on a truck and just go door to door. Who wants some shampoo? Dish it out with like a pump. I can't find it now. So where's the it been a funny example to show here? Grigor, what's up, man? Uh, hi guys, nice to see you. I have a one star review from an unverified customer trying to get it deleted, but seller support is useless. Usual any advice how to remove it. You can um if you've already done this through the ticket way, you can try the account health way. Go into your account health, report abuse, and you can use a customer is violating returns. Oh, not returns, sorry. Eh, products are different. Where is it? Customer feedback. This is going to bring you to the feedback manager, which is going to take it as the same thing. But you can try doing an abuse that is not addressed on the other topics right here. Um, since I didn't purchase it, there's no order ID. So you would say here, pretty much probably what you already said in your other ticket, which is, you know, um, this person did not purchase the product, but they left a negative review. I believe there's um, abuse happening here and see what happens there. You're going to not get a ticket response sometimes with this. It's going to show up in your performance notifications, actually. And it'll be right here. And it'll say something like uh, regarding your inquiry. And there'll be like a short little blip on what their decision is. Also, I tell people, as best as the advice as that is, the more sales will drown out that review, right? So just keep on keep on selling. I know it's frustrating, but you know, it just sucks to get a unverified sale yeah. one star. Um, one thing that can work is uh, in your language. Sorry, going back to Gregor. Um, let the, uh, hopefully, but if you only sell on Amazon, um, let them know that that. This can't, they would have had to purchase your product because it it's only sold on Amazon, so the review is invalid. You know, we got an ASIN review, John. Hello, hello, hello. I was trying to find that drum of it was like a hundred gallon something. <laughs> Look at that shampoo. All right, I don't see it. Did I type it in right? B zero B. P B two W P C C Q. Yeah, I don't see it. Let us know if it's a di on a different marketplace. Uh, rough. Toss it in Google. Oh, you want me to put it in Google? Yeah, just toss it. That's what I was doing on Wednesdays. Sometimes if people don't tell me what it is, I'll just toss it in Google. See if it comes up. I'm trying to find fifty gallons of shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming up. Is that new with Google to do these little like gifs? No. An, it can't be an O. Never mind. Is this it? Bob. Bob. Hip hop. Hip hop anonymous. Is this it? No. No. He sells like like liners and stuff. 
We put in Amazon real quick. It can't be a, an O. It's got to no. be a zero. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let us know if it's in a different marketplace. Rayan, have a few automotive products that the Amazon bots have deactivated, saying their emissions do defeat products when they actually are not. Tried explaining to seller support several times that they are not. Refuse to activate them. Any suggestions or Amazon email address I should try to escalate to. This happens to literally like every automotive product at some point. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's if you're talking about um, something that's affecting the drivetrain engine components, that kind of stuff. It's not usually so. For example, if you're selling um, intake filters or if you're selling um, OBD scanners or anything like that, that that tends to happen with that. Not we like had, a spoiler, but we had a client that sells air fresheners for cars, and it happened to them on all their products. Right. Uh, be, and we had to take out certain um, keywords from the copy that were mentioning clean air and stuff like that um, that was triggering it. What's happening here, Rand, is there's something in your copy that you need to change, and you're not able to change it without doing um, a full update via a template flat file. You need to screen your copy for anything that could be related to that Amazon could think could be related to um, emissions testing or um, what they what they this whole thing is is they think your device um, is one of those devices that helps people pass smog illegally, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this is how we fix it, and then we take Amazon that. We've removed these words. Our product is not this. We'll take a picture of it, a cell phone picture of it. Say, look, this is an air freshener. It is not an emissions defeat device. And um, that's how we get through those. This happens, like I said, to, to, like uh, in the automotive category, it's like the most common. It's like pesticides for, for other categories. For the wood dust. Wood dust. <laughs> Shrez says, I applied for internship yesterday. I'm currently working full-time as well because of kitchen income. Can I still get an internship? Um, I'm not sure. We don't do HR stuff, but I'm sure they'll reach out to you. Thank you for applying. Yeah. Ruff uh, says, when Mag added my new version with inbound inventory, it went live right away, and I've already been doing pre-sales and new size version. There might be a reason for that, um, Rough Riders. There's definitely reasons why we'd want to launch uh uh, prematurely depending on the product category the niche that sort of thing uh, a lot of the advice here on product launch is general advice but just like ppc and seo and anything else each product uh, and brand is specific uh on a strategy so uh, that's why i would shout out to you calling him rough riders by the way oh rough rough liners so. rough riders all right we got another one scott says please review that one. Hopefully, I'm in the right marketplace. Yeah, seven and then six. Oops, six. MLGG. All right, pals. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you know what's funny? What's funny? When I inter when I do second interviews for brand managers um, that have Amazon experience, um, I'll them. find. I usually find a towel or a cup listing that is just like really bad. And I'll say, okay, how would you optimize this listing? Not saying that yours is bad here. No, this is this, you know, on a quick glance here, looking good. Um, let's enroll these in Vine. Would you agree there, John? Yes, uh, especially with low ratings. Uh, so I'll let you start. Um, we'll go through the image stack here. I have it pulled up on my screen too. So um, I like that you're putting on the second image American owned and operated um, because you, obviously your product is not going to be made in the US, but you're, you want to capture that. So that's good that you're actually an American company and not uh, overseas. Um, in the second photo, no, the third photo, um, I'm just not a fan. I don't know about you, Jason. I'm just not a fan of these like schematic engineer kind of dimensions. I don't know. It just always looks very Alibaba to me. I get the idea why people have to do it, but I think there's just a better way to do it. I don't know. I agree for a product like this. Um, I'm not sure how many, I, I could be wrong. I'm not sure how many people care about the size. They're more care. It's pretty general size. It looks like yeah. um, probably more care, uh, cared about, if it's actually functional and it's utility. 
Yeah. Um, another thing too is I, I like that you know machine washable. That's great. Um, I that American owned and operated since 1969. The whole kind of templatized approach on the bottom with the Lola branding on each photo. I don't know. How do you feel about this, Jason? I don't. It doesn't. Uh, it's probably. I, I mean, I could go either way. I, I can understand yeah. why they're doing it. Um, I've never heard of this brand. If it had been around since 19, 1969, um, it's older than me. I don't even see them on Google. Well, uh... You're not showing up on the Googs. Um, the other thing is I always tell people on Wednesdays too. Um, and Jason, you know, I, I hate brackets and bullet points. Uh, when we put those little kind of emoji kind of arrows. Uh, oh, there they are. The, in the bullet points, those emoji arrows. Um Something like this, you can do emojis and be a little bit more relevant. Things like there's a towel, there's a soap, there's a, you know, you talk about cars, you're talking about chemicals. So it's, it, I get the, I guess that's why people do it to bring attention to it. But at the end of the day, no one's reading this, right? I don't know about you or anyone else here, but I don't read bullet points unless I really need to go more in depth to it. I tell people bullet points are for robots, images for humans, right? So unless it's something really intricate that I need to take a deep dive and look, I'm not reading bullet points, especially for towels. So you're bringing my attention in there and taking up character space that you could be using for SEO. Yeah, I mean, I'm for like John said, for most products, I mean, there's people that read everything, but <clears throat> in this day and age, uh, unless you're buying something super expensive or you need it to fit somewhere perfectly or some furniture or something like that, um, you're probably not going to spend too much time reading um, yeah. for some ten dollar towels. You scroll down under the under the A plus, like they're using a brand story, and uh, which is good, but you're not using crawlable text in the brand story, which is a little bit of a miss. Um, you have content there, but it's not crawlable. Um, but you know, interesting enough, you have A plus content, but you're just using it for the um, comparison chart. Um, but you're not talking about the actual product itself and why it's good. And that's the real point of the A plus content to hammer home exactly why you and why not the thousands of other, you know, towel listings that are there. But that's the first time, maybe I don't look at these listings that often, but the, that module underneath about sustainability, how long has that been around? This is like a, <clears throat> might've been something Amazon put on there. Yeah. It's a certified a, by Amazon. It's a climate pledge friendly badge is what it is. Yeah, the, the, the A plus content is just a product grid that's a, or a comparison. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you the efforts there, like your, your brand story module that you put some effort behind it and it, and it makes sense. Um, by the way, you have your Instagram handle in the uh, brand story module. I don't know how how TOS found <laughs> something like that. Um, but yeah, I think it's a big miss that you're not talking about the us versus them, why you, why you're so good. And when that's really the whole point of the A plus content, there's no crawlable text there in regards to the actual SEO. There's no alt text. There's no anything like that. So I would say you need to refresh that for sure. I'm wondering if this brand was. And you're doing FBM. Um, why? Yeah, there's no FBA. You're automatically losing to to basically all of your competition here without that. What I'm wondering if this brand was an industrial brand, John, and they've recently switched to direct to consumer. So mm -hmm. um, that 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 would explain they've been around for so long and why the listing is so new. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, you're, you have other products in your store that are FBA, but not this one. And I would say out of all your products that, that I just took a look at in your store, these are going to be the ones with the most competition, especially from China Direct. Um, so not being FBA puts you way behind the eight ball. Main the image looks pretty close to what others are doing. You may want to do something like this if you can. Um, you see this competitor... He's got the top keyword in his listing. Yeah. I don't know why it went to yours. <laughs> Hack. What the heck is going on here? What the heck is going on? Hold on. 
There we go. Um, a lot of them are doing it. Microfiber, all-purpose microfiber cleaning towels. If your towels doesn't come with that little card, the consumer doesn't care. This people, is... say, people say that to me on calls all the time. They're like, oh, but what if they receive it and that's not there? Like, They're not going to go, hey, that, that, piece yeah. that piece of paper that piece of paper I was going to throw out didn't come with the package. You got a lot of nerve <laughs> not sending me garbage. <laughs> yeah. Um, work on the A-plus content. Get that text crawlable inside that brand story module. Do some A-B testing with the main image. Um, get your products into FBA. Uh, we didn't even get a chance to see if he was doing any advertising. I would, I, I wouldn't do any advertising on an FBM list. Not, not. Right. I wouldn't do it yet. Yeah. Dave says, uh, "I'm afraid not." Okay. And I'm a funny Italian. Thank you. My mediums are not in mid until mid July. They were live on Amazon for pre-sales a couple weeks ago, so sixty days probably before arriving. Using AGL, yeah. By the way, Target has three mandatory battery fields. Battery size, quantity needed, and a field required versus Target. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, Target Marketplace. All right, he already, he's, oh, geez, Sherez. Three times. Best, uh, way to <laughs> best way to get an internship is to spam live chat. <laughs> C level position at this company. <laughs> If you're debating about launching into a, into a new product category and my new product is nothing innovative, then how would you decide if it's a good category? If you're debating about launching into a new product category and my product is nothing innovative. What do you want to launch today that's not innovative, John? We'll walk our friend through it. Uh, ice cream scoops. All right. We're going to go into the product opportunity explorer in Amazon. I'm not going to use any outside tools. And we're going to type in ice cream scoop. It's it, next to herb scissors, that's probably the most saturated thing on Amazon I could think of. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> ice cream scoop. All right. We want to launch an ice cream scoop. And we're going to take a look at the search volume and the growth. So it's a growing product niche. One uh, a nice one percent, one point five. Oh, We've got some trends here that we can look at. How are the search volume trends? Mm hmm. Seems normal. <laughs> uh, number of top click products. I'm not going to go into the metrics here, but it says right here top products have ninety percent of the clicks. There's thirty of them. Um, average price. So can we? Can we make our ice cream scoop profitable at an average price uh, in the niche? If our ice cream scoop landed cost after everything's said and done per unit costs us $7 to make, and then we have to add FBA fees and Amazon and all that stuff, I'm not getting into this niche. And this is where a lot of people get uh, crazy. Like, no, we can sell ours for $29.99. Okay. Okay. You can actually. But that's gonna that's gonna be a lot of branding and a lot of money to push that brand and, and come out of the market marketplace. And your ice cream scoop, scoop better have some uniqueness to it. Yeah. It doesn't have to be special. John, uh, I, did you want to chime in here, or do you want me to continue to go through? Here? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just uh, you, something. You, when you take a look at an FBA calculator, so so when you're when you're looking at seeing if the product's worth it, right? Um, look at the market and then run it through an FBA calculator and then take your price, take your landed cost, take all those numbers, factor in the margin, understand all that kind of stuff. And if you're looking at it and it's not worth it, right? If you're if you're looking at it as a uh, volume based business where if you're making a dollar on each one or even less, but you have to sell a ton of them, is it really worth your time? Is it really worth the gamble? I don't know. I don't think so. We, I mean, you can even, if you really want to compare yourself to, you know, your competition, then you can use some outside tools. What is going on with my Amazon browser? Jeez. I'm going to uninstall. <laughs> use Chrome. Um, what were you, oh, ice cream scoop, right? Ice cream scoop. And there's going to be an Amazon's choice here, right? Of course. For, for sure. Is this it? No. 
I, I, I'm in Amazon Basics. I'm surprised they don't have an ice cream scoop. It's it's even too saturated for them. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised there's not an Amazon Basics ice cream scoop. Um, so well, here's this. You, have, you have stuff there six dollars on yeah FBA. seven bucks for this thing. It's impossible. Twenty eight hundred, right? You go. No, mine's special. Okay, here's here's mine. We're we're gonna be more close, right? Here's uh, there, here's the real competitor. Look at look how cheesy they did their. Uh, are those They're swatches? Adding... Are those swatches like color swatches on it? No, no, no. Um, adding the 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 keyword to the main image. Oh yeah, they are swatches on there. Yeah. yeah. So here's that's actually, that's actually pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, this is smart. It just wasn't executed great um, as far as the image. Um, this is what we're talking about. If Stephen keeps preaching, it uh, is the main image hack of this year, um, and everyone's gonna go, "Oh, this is against terms of service." Okay. But um, everybody's doing it. Um, and the well, they have case... to, it's, it's only against terms of service if they prove it, right? So technically, Amazon has to pull your product and prove that you don't have, that that's not your label on the actual item itself. Well, and worst case scenario is they just suppress the listing and you upload the image without the, the tag, yeah. right? Um, this is going to increase, this increase this, this product's conversion significantly. I can tell you that because it has the top keyword on there, ice cream scoop in big letters. I would have done it a little bit bigger of a tag. Um, obviously, like I said, the customer is not gonna care that it doesn't come with this tag. <laughs> the, color, the color swatch is a, is a good little uh, little trick too. You know, they don't have any lifestyles. I guess food lifestyles count. It's still like a person in here. Oh, there's a hand. There you go. Oh, listen, remember my lifestyle? What's my lifestyle hack if you don't have photography? <laughs> Go to JCPenney's and have a session and bring your product and have them take the picture as a professional for under 100 bucks. It works. Dave says, what happens if I don't appeal an A to Z claim that was rightfully awarded to a buyer? If this was a, a valid claim, um, it'll fall off eventually, a couple months. No reason to appeal unless Amazon's saying you have to appeal. It's such a painful thing when you look at your email and, and you see that A to Z claim verbiage that comes in as if you're an Amazon seller and see that. It's just like, ah. Uh... And the worst is when you actually get a, a, an, an inquiry from a customer, like they email you about something and you get to contact us. And then instantly within a minute, you get an A to Z claim right out. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like Amazon forces them to contact you to ask you first before they can file the A to Z claim so that you'll see them contact you. And then 60 seconds later, you get an A to Z claim. It's like, come on, man. You didn't even give me a chance to respond to help you. Jason, you're muted. Oops, sorry. Thinker says, is it a good idea to join Amazon Global Logistics Services? Um, it was rough in the beginning, but we, we've had a lot of clients been using them now for the past couple of months, and it's been really nice, uh, especially because anything what, happens. What is it do that people don't know what it is? Oh, it's uh, using Amazon... Amazon Global Logistics is basically um, a shipper, broker, everything to get your product from China or your manufacturer in another country. Um, I forget which countries they service, um, but so let's say China to uh, U.S. port and into FBA directly instead of having to ship it in from a 3PL or anything like that. So it's Amazon putting their their hands in the pot like IP accelerator, like kind of let us let us do it for you. Yeah. Uh, the good thing about using it is um, it's all on them and it's in the Amazon system already. You don't have to worry about dealing with your manufacturer and then also the shipper that ships it to the port in China. And then if your manufacturer doesn't do that, which most of them do, but and then shipping from the uh, getting it checked in through customs and all that stuff. So um, Here's, since, talking, since you mentioned customs. Please, anyone that's watching this, if you are doing containers coming over from China, if you are not able to do a full container, a 20-foot container, whatever it is yourself, and you have to share a container 
please be do your due diligence to make sure you know who is as best as you can who you're sharing a container with if your container comes to the country and it gets inspected by customs and you shared a container with the guy that's selling counterfeit louis vuitton or sanrio products u.s customs is not gonna be like oh, okay other guy in the container will release your stuff your stuff gets seized at customs so be very 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 aware of that that's my my little tip or or your your uh share a container with with um three thousand pounds of raw onion <laughs> what that's a thing it makes all your products smell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why do my underwear smell like onions? I just got these. All right. Rough liners. Let's just look for that. Not not rough rider. So no branded. No branded. Um, Sponsored products. I'm not sure. You probably have some amount of brand search volume. What's up with your dial-up today? It's not my internet, dude. It's I swear it's 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 H10. It like whenever this happens, it's not doing it now. This uh, it like freezes the Amazon. Um. All right. So. Mag, uh, he said Mag did the uh, optimizations. That's right. I helped him out with that. Two sizes, medium and large. Hmm. You know what immediately I, I see here, John? As somebody that has a dog, um, I see medium and large. I don't see any sizes anywhere on the title or so what is medium or large it may be down here in the bullets what about the photo stack is there anything in that? nope let's take a look at the a plus Okay, there's the size. There we go. And then it's good that they put the type of car to, in relation there. I, I would al almost, r Mr. Roughliners, I would almost change your um, parentage naming. Uh, instead of being medium and large, I would almost name it car slash small SUV or car slash crossover, and then the large one making it for full-size trucks, large SUVs, something along those lines. That's a little bit more... Um, easier more easier is that right? that's a lot easier for me to convert and click because if i have a car i know i'm going to click on the medium i'm not going to have to click on the large um so just kind of limit the confusion so it does say full-size suv here and then this one says for cars small cars yeah but it's not it's not there for the decision yeah i agree with john this should say like size um cars uh, I don't want to put too many words in here. I almost think that you should have the, the, the variation should be, um, Jason, you could change to a drop down now to make it a little bit easier in, in the, or do you have to have two hierarchies for it to have a drop down come up? Um, what category in, um, automotive. I think you can do size name or there should be two sizes on here, but. I'm not entirely sure, actually. I think you might need two variation types, like size and then color. You can, could a workaround for something like that be just the one color? And still... I, no, no, you don't want to do that. This just needs to, to be whatever the top keyword is for each one. So if, yeah. if this is cars, then it needs to say cars or small cars or what have you. And this needs to say like full size uh, truck yeah. that's gonna full size SUV them. or something. I mean, you're, I need you're a decent amount of units for for something that's a you know it's a, you're not a cheap item. It's a premium price, so that's not you're doing a good job. Yeah, and then I need the actual dimensions in the bullets somewhere. All right.
It shows the installation. Okay. I love I always love like the the marketing language like ripstop poly poly ripstop layer. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Airflow mesh. Ooh, wow. Well, that one makes sense, but like nobody knows what this means. It just sounds cool. Completely protect door. Works with the windows up. Different types of dogs in the imagery. I like that. Um, all right, let's go down here. Brand story is missing. The only thing that I would show a little bit better. Um, in, in the A plus uh, is just a, us or them, but not a competitor. Well, actually, maybe you could have three stories, right? It could be, what is your? It call does have one right here. Bigger. This is for big trucks, bigger than the rest cell. No, no, I'm not talking about that. So I'm talking about like um, what your car looks like if you don't have one of these, right? So show a car that has hair all over, drool all <laughs> over, stain all over. Like it. a before, after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, because you're gonna scare someone that has like a really nice like tr pickup truck that that has a dog, and they're like, "Oh my god, I don't want, you know, Rover sliming up all over my car." Uh, what we call in sales tapping into the pain. Tapping into the pain. I the like pain it. funnel. Let's see if we can get it. See what the competition's doing. That was the one thing I was wondering. I bet I was gonna say I bet everyone has a dog in their main image. Look, make sure it's like uh yeah. Like that metal lark. Click on that one, that metal lark one. Which one? The second one from the left. The one that has like the Windows XP background in it. <laughs> yeah, click on that. <laughs> I don't know why. I got like a vibe that I feel like they're gonna show that uh, messy car. Let's see if we're, let's roll the dice. Let me open up my fan duel and see what the over under is and if I'm right. <laughs> By the way, anyone that's a Miami Heat fan that's watching this, I hope your team loses. I don't know why this, I, I'm going to ticket Helium 10, tell them why, what's going on here. Um, Am I right? No. No, they don't have a messy car. Maybe go in the A plus. Go to the A plus. Go to the A plus. I feel like I was, I, I don't know. I had like a. They got a kid. <laughs> No, they uh whatever. It's the dog walking on the beach. That it's almost like it's a like a Claritin commercial. The lady it in does. The like <laughs> ah, breathe free. Ah. Um, I do main image A B test if you have one. Um rough liners. So I'm seeing a lot of dogs in the main image here. And as we know, most of the time. Dogs convert. Dogs, babies, attractive people. And if it's an attractive dog, double conversion. Say it says new Amazon stores in USA are deactivating after listing first SKU. How can we resolve it? That's not that's not a, a new issue. That happens all the time. Depends what you're listing. What a, what a dismissal. That ain't a new issue. That's old news. Get on get on board with the rest of us. It's probably a verification issue. They saw that you listed. You need to re-verify. Something's not right. Something's not matching up. Um, that's usually what it is. If you're from outside of the United States, it's going to be more common. Oh, we read that. Yeah, Ref said we did the optimization. Rand says, gotcha. Thanks so much, guys. And it says, hi, lads of our main competitors has the American flag on their main image. They manufacture in Vietnam against TOS. Not not if they like we had that example before that they, that they said they're American uh, company. Now it's made in the U.S. unless they say it's made in the U.S. But then again, that's I don't know how much against TOS. I guess you're, you're falsifying what it is, but I mean. I want to see you got, you got to prove it right so how, unless you did a test order and prove that you got one it says manufacturing vietnam and main image says i'm not seeing it if it's the main image i'm going through everything 
Can't see your screen. <clears throat> Sorry. Unacceptable. Is it uh is it for the footballs or the basketballs? Do you see? Do you say? I don't know. I put in the I put in the football. Let's try a soccer ball. Yeah, the no, he's like discoing the, the football. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Old news. Uh, and it's a basketball. Mm. There you go, right there. Night match. Ah. Uh, so he just has a flag. <laughs> you might, if you wanted to. Want to? Re you might be able to report this guy, but then uh, you're gonna get in the. He's not this saying is... it's made in the U.S. Yeah, it's just an American flag. Now, technically, the main image is not compliant because of the, um, the kid-sized little stamp for this, there. for this, for having a black background. But it's fine in this category because these are glow-in-the-dark items. Um, Rock that boat, Andrew. Go ahead. Yeah, if you want to rock the boat, we <laughs> we yeah. can, we cannot do that for you. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Jason having uh, that uh, women maternity thing in his cart right now. <laughs> Saving it for later. And this is a shared. Too. This is a shared uh, agency account. Okay, I did not put that in there. Hi guys. Rama says, I'm looking for a year-round advertising plan. First, I've just dropped my prices and plan to wait 30 days after the most recent deal to start something like a prime exclusive discount for promotions like lightning deals and best deals, which would be the best strategy to improve sales growth all year, all around a year. I need a plan. What strategy is best for Black Friday? And should I consider using long-term vouchers? I appreciate your help. Show us your ASIN yeah. and I'll give you some strategy. Yeah, I, it I don't know if you're... Yeah, I don't know if you're selling maternity dresses or if you're selling ice cream scoopers. Show us your ASIN and I'll give you yeah. strategy. You got you got to be a, you know, you want all year round kind of strategy, but are you an evergreen product, right? That that you're not going to have any ebbs and flows. And then you, you, yeah, talk about you, Black Friday, you talk about Black Friday, you might not be a Black Friday product. That's what a lot of people don't realize. They don't realize that just because you're offering a great deal that it's a Black Friday deal. Like, for example, if you had discounted dog food, that's not something someone's going for on a Black Friday. I, I would. No, you dog won't. Who's going dog for food's it? expensive, bro. I was looking at a 70-inch TV. You know, how, how much do you think a 70-inch Fire TV is? Oh, now? Probably yeah. like 400 bucks. $420. Crazy. Yeah. 70 yeah. inches. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? You know why, right? Because the 90-inch ones are coming out. I don't know why. Um, well, yeah, there's technology and, and, and all that stuff. Um, but the real reason is the type of TV you just mentioned. Oh, because it's subsidized by Amazon? It's it's subsidized by Amazon because everyone, I'm going to go on a little rant here. Cable television, uh, you know, is pretty much gone now. Um, and we had a period of a few nice years where there was streaming. Uh, I'm not talking about pirating things, but using Netflix and that sort of thing where there was no commercials, no advertisements, nothing, mm -hmm. right? Slowly, what's been happening, right? Freebie. So Amazon is smart and um, any of the other uh, people that are subsidizing uh, these televisions are also smart. Hulu, uh, I can't remember what the other one is, maybe Apple, but Amazon is already prepared for this and their TV that has Amazon fire, uh, you know, proprietary software on it is going to be running ads from Amazon. Your account's going to already connected to that. You're going to be able to click your channel changer and go, Hey, I want to buy that. And it's happening. It's already happening, mm -hmm. but $400 TVs come out of cost, John. Have you seen Freebie though? The the Amazon streaming that they have for free? It's free now. That's the whole point is to get 
No, no, no. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying, freebie is their free thing, but it has commercials. Yeah. And the commercials are targeted. It's it's a very, it's almost like DSP uh, Palooza. Like they're just take it programmatic. Like you're right. It's going to come to a point where it's going to be like QVC where you click on it and you're able to purchase it. 100%. All that Amazon Live stuff is going to start being shoved in your face pretty soon on those TVs. Um, $400 for are... a 70 inch? I'll take it. Yeah. Deal. Uh, hold on one second. I missed one. Rough Rider Aligner says I purchased the SOP for MAG. The segmentation SOP was worth every penny of the SOP, even if I only use one procedure, would highly recommend. Awesome. Thanks. Appreciate the shout out there. You, guys you want a PPC? You guys want an SOP? Contact me. I'll give you a nice discount. Only for me. Liza says I need a client. Google. I do too. Let's talk. Upwork, Fiverr. Brian, our product images are the recommended 2000 by 2000, but notice Amazon choice product images such as ASIN display larger. Tips on specs are cropping to get our images to display larger. So let's look up this product to see if this is just a status of um, the UI or if, because I have seen bigger pictures before. I'm covered by Brian's name. Look at this. You're covered by what? Can you see my face or no? What did I did I type in the wrong thing? B zero eight nine nine nine. Oh no, I did. Okay. Peekaboo. I don't see Amazon's choice on it, unless this is his product. That changes all the time. Um. And the, wow, this is. Oh, geez. Let's see. Robotic pool cleaner is the keyword. Robotic pool cleaner. Oh my god, though, Mr. Roboto. So there's that dolphin one. Bestseller. Yeah, I'm not seeing Amazon's choice. Oh, there's an Amazon's choice. Is the image bigger? Doesn't look like it to me. No, when you probably when you click on it. They're not perfectly square, but that might be. So usually this is a cropping thing, uh, Brian. So if you're not cropped all the way to the edges, then in search, you're going to appear, appear smaller. So this guy right here, he left a lot of white space that could be cropped out, right? And this is more apparent on mobile. when you're scrolling through. So that's probably what it is, but I can't see your example here, so. You said that guy's not perfectly square? No, nah, his image was like was like 2000 by 1800 or something like that. So, so would you say it's hip to be square? <laughs> Just wanna make sure. Simon says, Simon says. You remember that movie Demolition Man? Yes, with Simon. Uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, something. What was his name? That was Wesley Snipes' character, Simon. Oh, that's bothering me now. Well, Simon oh. says if relevant categories are very similar, for example, bumper stickers versus car details, but one of the categories significantly larger than the other. Simon you... Phoenix. Simon Phoenix. Which do you choose to list your product on? <laughs> he shoots him. Simon says. <laughs> 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 that's a good movie taco bell was a delicacy talk about when the when the franchise wars um all right uh relevant categories uh very similar for example bumper stickers versus card details but one of the you want to be usually you want to be and the one that has higher search volume and you can check the the niche um via product opportunity explorer or via h10 um or you may want to be in the one that has less direct competition or Amazon will put you in the one they want you in based on relevancy. <laughs> what happened? Why are you laughing? It, again, this is another one that I, I would have to see the product to give it a proper suggestion, right? That's why. <laughs> Jason, why do you have the giggles today? What's going on? 
I always have the giggles. Scott, just because you were talking about batteries earlier. Oh, okay. Please stop yelling at us. Thank you. Facebook user, ice cream scoop is your love, I think. <laughs> I haven't had ice cream in like nine months. I'm down almost 100 pounds. Thank you. Fred, do you think it's an effective strategy to always run a coupon to bring visibility to the listing? It seems only half of the time people that buy actually click to add it. Um, you yeah, only you know, know why? You know why you're offering a coupon, and you're not like you're not concerned about is your product of value to even justify the coupon? Is your page converting? Is your listing there? Just because you're having a coupon doesn't mean people are going to click it and use it. Yeah, you'll only know by testing. This is one of those things. We have some products that I keep coupons on them all the time because when we take them off, uh, even though it's like a two dollar coupon, the conversion goes down and um, sales go down. And then we have products products that we put coupons on, significant coupons, and no effect. So why have the coupon, right? Um, you have to test with this. That's the only way you're going to know. Uh, Ref Liner says on Amazon, I am low on inventory, no ads right now. Okay, that's right. Uh, Jana, if you refund a customer through the brand registry customer service reviews program, can they still double dip with your customer service? Oh, interesting. What a snake. Who would do that? I actually think they can. Because it's two different processes. Yeah, I would just do a standard return, uh, refund if you're doing this. Um, and this is a reason that you're trying to, I guess you're trying to get them to change their review. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've seen this happen, so I'm not 100%. With, with things like reviews I, or um, returns and uh, refunds, once you get once you scale your business um, to a point, uh, even in you know to a smaller point, you just have to understand that returns and refunds are part of doing business and you will drive yourself crazy if you spend too much time involving yourself in them. Just let the person return it, let, refund them, move on. Instead of ticketing Amazon and fighting and all this stuff, it, as a business owner, if you're doing this, you know, on your own, it's just not worth your time. It, not at all. I feel like I'm the uh, sign language ASL person for when you're talking. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Barack says, my newly created ASIN images are displayed in a vertical format, similar to fashion products. Both products belong in the same category. Moreover, images are not zoomable. Even the resolution is high. Give us your ASIN. So either one of two things are happening. Amazon tests certain categories all the time with different kinds of image stacks and scrollable image stacks, and they move things around. You might be in a category that they're testing this in. The most common issue for this is you believe that your image is the right dimensions, 4,000 by 4,000, but when you created it, or you um, put it through some sort of transferred it to a JPEG or PNG through some program or online in that it got messed up. The metadata in the image got messed up and it's not the actual size you think it is. So re-download -down the raw images and make sure if you're using Photoshop or anything like that, that you're downloading them in, in the proper, proper type of codec or what have you. The proper one, not the profit one, right? The, the profit, profit one's alone. Roughliner says, thanks, guys. I got a list of some things to work on. Appreciate the suggestions. Always great ideas. Awesome, man. You got it. Hamza says, our brand store is live, but when we click on the brand through detail pages, it doesn't show, and we get redirected to the search results. Brand node, brand node. Your product is not connected to your brand node. So what you're seeing, instead of this, which would take us to the brand store, you're seeing... Ask me how I know this. Because <laughs> you you get this like almost on the daily. Nope. Try again. Um, you're dealing with it yourself. Because when I was going to be an account director here at Mag, Jason asked me, "How do you fix a brand node issue?" Oh, yeah. and I didn't, and I didn't know, and I found out, and I'll never forget. That's a good Aha. question. Though. What's happening to you is this it says brand stealth. Maybe stealth did make a store, but their product is not connected to their brand node yet or the brand store. 
And it's when you click on it, it's going to show us the 2005 classic Stealth featuring <laughs> featuring Jamie Lee. Uh, is that Jamie Lee Fox? Ja you got Jamie Lee Curtis and Jamie Fox. I almost said Jamie up. Lee Curtis. Yeah. So um, you need to take a Amazon brand registry. Everybody first, make sure your product is actually added to your brand store. Um, you need to ticket all those uh, and ask them to connect your brand, your product to your Amazon registered brand, your merchant token ID, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you got a video on this, right? Can you make a video on this? Yeah, there's a video. There's two videos on this. Just type in brand node. I don't want to go down with the ship. <laughs> it's not going to do it. <laughs> Kurt, what do you think about adding your product videos to competitor PDPs? So this is a new sponsored display video and... Um, uh, definitely testing it out. I've had some good success for sure. Where, where on the PDP is it? Under the um, the bullet points, or yeah, it's showing up on product detail pages. Um, no, but where on the page? Yeah. yeah, let's see if we can find one. What would have? If it's would under have... the bullet points because that's that's a sponsored display area. Yeah. Let's see who would have a video. How about Dolphin? Belkin. It's something that you really need a video for. Belkin. Belkin? Yeah. The 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 continuity camera mount. I bet you it's on there. I'm serious. That's a big thing now though for the iPhone, the continuity camera mount. All right, let's see. Shout out to Belkin, the CEO connected with me. Today. Continuity camera mount. Ah, oh, see yeah, I'm done. I wish this thing, I wish I could get rid of that thing. Is this it? Yeah. Ooh, uh, is that a video? That's not a video. Yeah. You, that's not Helium 10, those plugins. What is that? You have more plugins down there? That's Keepa. Oh. That's keep, the only thing that's Keepa, that's keeping your browser slow. Oh. Yeah, we can't find we can't find a example. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Kurtley. Not to be confused uh, with Lee. Brian Kurt. says 2000 by 2000 the best size for product images. Um, yeah, it's the the standard. Um, sometimes I'll do four thousand by four thousand just for kicks. <laughs> if, you're feeling, if you're feeling silly, do ten thousand by ten thousand. This is like watching an episode of the two Ronnies. <laughs> What's two who, are Ronnie? the two, who are the two Ronnies? It's something like a UK British show or something. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He he's a, I think he's a Australia. Yeah. Jay says, how, how should I create my account with Amazon so that I can start with one brand and then later add additional brands? Each brand will be in a different category. You can have as many brands as you want on a single account, as far as I'm aware, but it does get fishy around 50 brands. <laughs> That's a little silly, but just just, uh, Jay, just be careful if you, you know, if you make your seller central account be the umbrella company for all of your other brands. So this way it's cohesive. Don't be widget a as your seller and then you also sell widget a but then you sell widget b widget c widget d and then when someone clicks on widget d it's sold by widget a that gets a little confusing yeah just like john said name your actual sell seller central or your shop or your store people call it um your seller store the name that comes up people don't care about it it doesn't have to be your brand name uh you could name it jay's you know jay's market or whatever that's not taken yet um, most people just use their LLC name or something like that. But if the single brands, if you're a single brand, your shot, your seller name should be your brand. hundred uh, percent. Janice says, yeah, I think you can do it. Yeah. About the refunds. Brian says, uh, this is a product whose image appear large anecdote 2023 plan. Oh, I can't, I wish Oh, I can copy. I figured out how to copy now. Uh, wow. So I can go to, I'm actually watching the YouTube. Oh, on this you're, you're two window hacking it. A two, yeah. So, cause I cannot copy within StreamYard. It doesn't let me copy the text, it, which is annoying. Yeah, you're right. Cause, cause before I wasn't, I was just like a, a guest in it and not like a, a person. Oh yeah. See so when you, when you click on the things now, you, you yeah. can't. Okay. He's saying, uh, achieve your goals with this weekly planner, a five size. Anecdote 2023. He's saying the image is larger. It's not. In fact, 
it's smaller because it's taking up less space than this one. This is a what's it called? Um, and if you're if you're just seeing my helium ten thing, it's because it's shifted up a little bit. I'm waiting for this to see now it went back to normal. Um, this is like a, a visual. What's it called? A uh, proportions ratio. A magic eye. Remember those magic eyes where you could like just stare at the dots and like uh, like a boat. Oh, like in like grammar school where it's like a whole big uh, like a like a um where you, there's an image somewhere in it. You just if you stare at the middle, it'll appear. I used to like I couldn't do it the normal way. I had to like cross my eyes and it would be inverted. Mm. All right, this is an ASIN review. Well, no, they have a question about advertising plan. Oh, advertising. He's going to ask us how he should advertise this product. Oh, this is the one we want to see if it's an evergreen product or not. Yeah. 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 Okay. Alexa, I am your father. That's cool. Oh, no. Well, your product is not um, here. It's mm -hmm. either search suppressed or you're on a different marketplace. Uh, talking to Ramos. By the way, I want to buy those. Those are all over TikTok. Those uh, IP cameras that go into your light bulb. Cameras that go into a light bulb? Oh, that thing? Yeah, those. Those are cool. You screw it into your light bulb, like a and it turns into a movable camera. Okay. But then you don't have a light. Okay. I have security now. How about that? Or is it, or is it a light in addition to a camera? I can't imagine that it's a light. It looks like it. Sorry for clicking your ad if you're a viewer here. Sorry, not. the China Direct Company. <laughs> thousand percent what that is. There's, um, no, there's no light in there. Oh the, yeah, well there's there's like a there's like an LED. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a map light in a car. <laughs> it's a look. It's a tractor beam. <laughs> That's terrible. That's so, it's so not that bright. Not, I can tell you right now. But I want those because those are cool. I want them for like outside my house. No, but like, hold on, wait. Look, if you look at this, there's still light coming out of the light here, unless that's just bad Photoshop. That's horrible Photoshop because the light's coming from nowhere. Socket base, infrared night vision, full color night vision, enhanced Wi Fi module. No, there's no, it's not an actual light. No, this would be for outside, like if you have a splitter, right? Where if you're making one outlet into like two, and then you put the light, the floodlight there, and then you could put this one there too. So are you talking about like the old fashioned, like light bulb splitter? Yeah. One of these guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know what you do? You could you could put the fan in one. Wait, no, you could put the 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 camera in one. Oh, here you go. look at this. They have the fan. <laughs> they have the, the fan. The, the you know the fan you screw into the the light bulb. Now it turns into a ceiling fan. That's great. Like, like this is the this is the big dog here. The five way. Forget it. I have a light, a camera, a fan, a humidifier, and probably like an air fryer in it. How to blow your your uh, your breaker. <laughs> <laughs> one easy step that you turn that on after plugging it in to be like that scene from national lampoons christmas vacation where like <laughs> he plugs it in and like the, the nuclear reactor has to get turned on we want to make it very clear that this is a fireproof material <laughs> it is, so when it catches on fire the rest of your house will burn down but this one <laughs> the fire no plus, will have that to, to tell no a plus content yeah What's going to be the A-plus content? A, a, a home in cinders? What is <laughs> hey, they are... Uh, uh, um, nope, they're, they're U.S. Direct. What are you talking about? They're <laughs> U.S. The, Direct. The Italian company, Decuno, um, U.S. Direct. Yuzhou City. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't make it up. All right. Um, Jay says, thanks a lot. Ramesh says, says different ASIN if you can't find that one. All right. He said thanks a lot. We got this dolphin thing on here. Pool cleaner. For nine hundred dollars, I think I would just clean it myself. Be honest. I think unless you're like a like a highfalutin guy with like a big in ground pool. This one's not showing up either, Ramos. He gave us one more. Just throw it in Google. Because I'm curious. Now. I did, and it didn't show up. No, you throw it into Amazon. There we go. We got one. Oh. I like that the uh, 
keywords are on the product. It's red, it's bright. Very hard to read that picture. Jeez. Woo. There's a lot going on here, my friend. A lot going on. I, I'm already lost. Made in the USA? Just wait. It's very cluttered. I know it's a notebook, but like, look at nobody's going to read this. Zero. And there's John's favorite schematic. <laughs> I can't. But what is it showing? You're showing me compact size to store almost anywhere. So the 11 inches. He's saying it's not. He's saying it's not his product. Okay. So why is that 11 inch? What do we? Well, whatever. I don't know. Also, if that's not your product, uh, good because to be quite honest with you, everyone has smartphones nowadays. So I don't know what this is recording. Um, to be honest. Um, my 78 year old aunt has something like this. Yeah, as we all know, the 78-year-old women are boomers on uh, selling products like gangbusters on Amazon and buying up a storm. I don't think so. I'm just She buys stuff on Amazon like every day. Yeah, I mean, so does my wife, but you know. <laughs> is this I, truly I, made in the USA? I have a, it's paper, it probably is. Yeah. Secure my legacy. Is that is that the word you're saying as you're getting loaded into the ambulance? As you hand it to someone, secure <laughs> my legacy, and you give it to the person. Fly, you fools! Don't worry, Grandpa. I'll secure it for you. It's secured. I have secure my legacy. Uh, Mir says, "I have added small icons on listing bullet points, and I have MacBook system. But when I checked same ASIN on Windows laptop, those icons were not showing. Yes, because you have to make sure that you're using ones that are universal. Certain ones that are on Mac OS are not going to be the same on Windows. So Mac just launched Apple launched a couple of new ones that I know Windows doesn't have. So you want to keep it very basic. Don't get too fancy with the emojis. I go to this site." Right here called getemoji.com and all of these work. Yep. Because they're they're not gonna have the it's gonna be cross-referenced. They're not gonna have the new like Monterey, whatever the crazy new OS that came out because you know Windows is not gonna keep updated the same way Apple is. So I want a cat. I've got all my cat. And what's, the, just... what's the new one? I think like th like this one, like this hand motion, like the Italian, like hey, that's a new like uh, uh, one, but I don't think that's in Windows. Okay, now, now he's saying he's in the UK. <laughs> we asked what marketplace you were in. This is how my Wednesdays go. <laughs> this is how my Wednesdays go. All right. Um, let me go to Amazon UK. And we'll pop that baby in. And... By the way, while you're doing that, guess what I had for uh, dinner yesterday? I had the Spider-Verse Swapper from Burger King. Okay, if this is in UK, I'm in UK, and your listing is not showing up. <laughs> no, because you're putting deliver to United States. Huh? Oh. Ah, oh, man, I need to get a UK postcode. I should have one memorized by now. I think it's like L1, L3, P, the Queen, 2. <laughs> I think like, let's see if this works. Okay, we got something. Oh man, that that does not look appetizing before I know it. I'm sorry. Like real, I'm sorry. That, that, almost, for, that almost that almost looked like a real life poop emoji. Is this for dog? Okay, it is for dogs. Thank God. Thank God. <sighs> Those are gonna be the sketchiest devil dogs I've ever seen. If they weren't. All right. Man. <laughs> They're, we go back, go back, go back, go back. That's going to be quarter of the day. They're bursting with mouth-watering proper meat and nothing else. This um, image this image isn't the right size. You can't zoom into it. This one's the right size. There's got to be a better way to, to merchandise these. There's yeah. gotta be. This is the only dog in the picture. And they're not and even eating, they're eating the same product? That doesn't look like the same thing. It's a little piece of it, yeah. Oh. Um, when you're when you're using animals for for your lifestyle imagery, 
Um, you need to use popular breeds. Um, just because you have a Pomeranian doesn't mean everybody has a Pomeranian. <laughs> um, golden, golden retriever, uh, Labrador, uh, go a uh, poodle thing. Uh, yeah. Yorkie. Those are the dog. Those are kind of core dogs. I would think of like floppy ear beagles are also okay. Um, even though they have temperament issues as well, but, um, you, you, you need to find your target audience. Um, this is for all dogs. It's not for just Pomeranians. <laughs> Rough liners. Puppies and Rough liners, it's one of those dogs you love or you're not a fan of. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um it says seniors um so I, I hope you're meaning like senior dogs no it says puppies and seniors right no no no. i'm saying so that it's for training puppies and seniors right so you want to showcase all three of those in your merchandising so show training which you're showing i guess training with one putting it in their mouth um but then show the old guy and then show the new guy see dash dash Hound's also uh one of those type of dogs that uh, could have temperament issues but at least they're cute is that similar um, to a dachshund, or is there a thing called a dash hound? They're two separate breeds, but I, I guess... They no, have... dachshund is... There's no such thing as dash hound. It's dachshund. No, I'm pretty sure there's da dash hound is a separate breed. No. But you want to showcase the old the old guy, the young guy, all that kind of stuff. You know what's missing? Uh, so I, I deal with a lot of pet products, and I guarantee what's missing is the old... So check your keywords. Um, animal owners love their animals. And you'll see in the keywords, long tail, long tail for sure. Um, but you'll see treats for golden retriever, treats for chihuahua, treats for et cetera, et cetera. And you don't have any of that in your copy anywhere. It needs to be, you need to be hitting every single one of those things. And there's multiple versions of those long tail keywords. Like, um, uh, training treats for dash hounds, training treats for X, you know, really, really, you need to use, utilize uh, with pet products. You need to use, utilize all of the copy you possibly can that can index with those long tail keywords. Cause there's tens of thousands of them. Um, we talked about the imagery, um, but uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done here. And this was the one that he was asking about marketing for black yeah. Friday, right? Yeah. Um, not a Black Friday product. John hit it right on the head. This is not a Black Friday product. This is a evergreen. Uh, subscribe and save. Once people, once people's animals like your product, they're never going to go back. Um, unless a uh, little, little uh, Bootsy uh, starts throwing up or something. Bootsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um. All right, we got a couple more to hit here, and then we're we gotta shut shut it down. Um, shut it down. Mr. Raymond says, "Thank you so much." You, uh, you panic, you paniki. Wow, that's a great. I like that one. That's you paniki. I'm so sorry. I cannot. I I'm, I murdered it. Adnan says, "I can add up to ten bullet points." Do you think anything after fifth bullet point helps in ranking and indexing? Certain categories, yes. Automotive, I know for sure. Um, but you need to test it. You'll find out if you test it, it doesn't work, then go back. You can even A-B test your bullets right now. Uh, Remes, okay, we got that one. We do not have time for a listing review uh, right now, but like Pepper, uh, save it for John on Wednesday. Uh, Refco got that. I failed to identify re-verification. Is there any way to speed up reply from verification team? I called seller support and asked to escalate, but no response. No, there's no way to really escalate this. You need to wait your turn. Raymond's question was about yearly advertising plan. Thank you for the answer. Maybe you can see now another brand. We'll have to uh, bring that to Wednesday's, uh, next Wednesday's call. Um, what's it called? Live stream with John. And that's it. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. John, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're not going to be here next week. I will not be here next week. I will be on a cruise ship. So oh. John will have a special guest. We don't know who that is yet. Um, I'm seeing if Tom or if Kristen or Tessa wants to come on. We'll see. Or Stephen. Uh, or Stephen. Yeah, that would be no. cool. No, he's gone next week. He's Where? speaking. He's oh, speaking Prague? at an event in Prague. Oh. Yeah. 
I'm going to that too. No, you're not. You're not going to Prague. I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, mentally. We are myamazonguy.com. My we are my Amazon guy. You can visit us <laughs> at myamazon.com. We are a full Friday. service marketing <laughs> agency. But that's not all we do, John. What else do we do? We're doing everything from SOPs, uh, mag school courses, coaching calls, trademarks, Walmart guy full service, whatever you need, we're there. Just like John mentioned, we have coaches available for one-on-one -on -one help. Um, we have bag-school.com where you can get very valuable and cheap courses uh, for any budget to learn anything you want that you don't feel like watching a YouTube video for. Um, these are very comprehensive. And John, Rough Liners wants to hit you up for a one-on-one. -on -one. Should we put you back on the coaching page? We we put John up there for free at one point and then... <laughs> Let me ask you out there, well, if you're watching this, how disrespectful is it that out of everyone on the... Me, the person that's coming to you twice a week giving value and all sorts of information, that my Amazon guy puts me up there for the big goose egg. That's how much I'm worth for my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. So yes feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to assist you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. You don't have to buy since apparently I'm free. You can send me over a nice piece of pizza. That would be a significant enough of a payment for me to help you. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> Who said? Who said? I have him an email. I'd love to get some strategy. Love our conversations. He loves it. Who said? Mir real quick says a plus content. Take a lot of time. Almost 30 day to go live in most European country. Yeah, this is a bug. It's a common bug. I suggest you submit your A-plus content with just one module, just simple, very simple, one module, attach your ASINs to it, get that submitted, it will go through faster, and then edit that one that got approved with all of your content, and it will go through a lot faster. Um, all right, yeah, I think that's it. Um, we will see you Tuesday for uh, at noon for live ppc only q a with marissa only, and only you come there with an seo question they're going to shut you down oh marissa can answer seo questions but it's more for our guests that um uh experts across the space come uh and join us to answer your ppc questions you can see john on as arl live that's every wednesday at noon eastern and john will pick apart your asin and review it and help you out there and then we'll be back next Friday, sans me, with John and a special guest to answer any and all of your Amazon seller, vendor, and Walmart questions. We are my Amazon guy. Thank you, John, for joining us. Thank you. Everyone, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Peace out.